Hi, and welcome to the Photo Boomer channel. My name is Howard, and we'll be discussing all things photography to help you take your images to the next level. Let's get started. When taking long exposure photographs, you typically want to combine still and moving objects in your scene for a more dramatic photo. The longer shutter speed will create the blurry effect on the moving objects such as clouds, water, or moving lights. The still object, however, needs to be in sharp focus for a successful long exposure photo. This will mean you can't hold the camera in your hands. Instead, You'll need to rely on a sturdy base for your camera to rest on while the shutter stays open for anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes. The sturdy base of choice for most photographers is a tripod. These three-legged wonders come in many varieties and prices. They range from models with heavy wooden legs for large format cameras, think Ansel Adams, to light composite carbon fiber legs, which are the go-to models for today's landscape photographers to carry on their backpack. The lighter weight of the carbon fiber means you don't tire as easily on long hikes in search of that perfect shot. I use this Oban carbon fiber model and it's seen me through all weather conditions from jungle terrains to sub-zero ice and snow environments. Here's just a few shots I've taken with this lightweight, sturdy tripod. If you found this information helpful, please hit the like button. I'd also love any comments on what challenges you have with your photography so I can cover them in a future video. Oh, and remember to hit the subscribe link to get notified each time a new video is posted. I hope you'll join me in our next episode. Bye for now.